One, two, one, two, three, four. Welcome everyone to the morning announcements. I'ma say my name so you can pronounce it. Bo, ma, ni, ar, ma. Shout out to early risers. I see who you are. My morning ritual. Thanks for having me over. Start with audio, visual, doses, and cover. My favorite occasions a few moons away. I'm counting rotations to watermelon day. If you're with me this morning, I hope that you're with it. Two things that I want and three ways to get it. Black solidarity, African independence. Honor the ancestors, prepare descendants. Third thing you gotta do is love right now. I mean that in every sense and every way you know how. Now throw them up and say what should increase on one, two, three, peace. All right, let's do the mic. Mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, mic check, one, two. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to the morning announcements with Bomani Arma. This is Monday, January the 2nd, 2022. I am Bomani Arma, and we are 215 days away from Watermelon Day at Sankofa. We are here to honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. Friends, help me break the algorithm. Make sure you pass along some positivity. Like, share, and subscribe. Join my email list at notarapper.com. I really appreciate your energy every morning. We are going to start this morning like we do every morning, and that is by beginning with a libation. Today's libation is for Oscar Devereaux Michaud. Oscar Michaud, January 2nd, 1884 to March 25th, 1951. Author, filmmaker, director, and independent producer of more than 44 films. Although the short-lived Lincoln Motion Picture Company was the first movie company owned and controlled by black filmmakers, Michaud is regarded as the first major African-American feature filmmaker, a prominent producer of race films, and has been described as the most successful African-American filmmaker of the first half of the 20th century. He produced both silent films and sound films. His first movie, The Homesteader, his debut film based on on his novel of the same name, was the first feature-length film made by an African-American. His next film, Within Our Gates, was his response to Birth of a Nation. Let's get into this quote from Oscar Micheaux. One of the greatest tasks of my life has been to teach that the colored man can be anything. Let me read that one again. One of the greatest tasks of my life has been to teach that the colored man can be anything. What a powerful thing for a black man born in 1884 to say. A man who made the first feature-length film based on his own life as one of the few African-American homesteaders in South Dakota. He lived an extraordinary and original life, but wanted to lead that life in a way that shined a path for others. Oscar, you have succeeded. Even for those of us who don't know your name to repeat it, you've shown that we can be anything. If some if something some of us take it it is something that some of us take for granted now. This man lived through and responded to the furor around the nation's first hit film, The Racist, The Birth of a Nation. Now we sit here making our own films and telling our own stories to an international audience on a daily basis. Thank you, Oscar Michaud. Let's let's pour libation for Oscar Michaud. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, we'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames so flickers, we pouring out some liquor. We're the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs. Honor you by pouring out some water. Friends, today's libation was for Oscar Devereaux Michaud. Thank you very much. Friends, thank you very much for supporting what I got going on here. I do this every morning, the morning announcements. I am a hip hop artist and an educator. Um, There's a whole bunch of ways you can support what I do. One of the things I want you to go to is go to my website and find um, my new children's album, um, Baba Bomani's Beatbox Basement. All right. Baba Bomani's Beatbox Basement is only available on um, Bandcamp. And I would love for you to listen to it, download it. Um, this is the beginning of a new year. I know a lot of people are making new resolutions. I want to show you a song that I wrote about practice called Why Do We Practice? I wrote with this wrote this with my man, um, Black Root. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this. Friends, this next track is called Why Do We Practice? Baba Bumani, babagatbars.com. 
What's up, Mr. Roo? What up, Baba Bomani? Man, I'm working on this new song. Oh, yeah? It's called Why Do We Practice? Okay. Do you mind performing it with me? Not at all. All right, first, we're going to have to practice. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Why do we practice? So we can learn the way. How often do we practice? We practice every day. We make mistakes when we practice. Yeah, and that's okay. We, we get, get better, better at what we do at school and at play. So we practice. Yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Yeah, we practice. Oh, yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. In order to get better, you really gotta do it. Mistakes are, uh, okay. I haven't done this rhyme yet, so it's not coming out right. Um, Relax and don't worry, we're gonna help you through it. Training is important, um, you got something, it. something, learn how to walk. Yeah, you got it. I made a mistake, but uh, don't even worry about it. If you fail and don't succeed, try, try, try again. again. Why do we practice? So we can learn the way. How often do we practice? We practice every day. We make mistakes when we practice. Yeah, and that's okay. We, we get, get better, better at what we do at school and at play. So we practice. Yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Yeah, we practice. Oh, yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. In order to get better, you really gotta do it. Mistakes are a path on the road to improvement. Challenges make you better, it depends on how you view it. Relax and don't worry, we're gonna help you through it. Training is important, you should never Ah, uh, man, I messed up. Now let's see if we can improve on the next verse. Alright, let's go. We got this. If you fail and don't succeed, try, try again. Why do we practice? So we can learn the way. How often do we practice? We practice every day. We make mistakes when we practice. Yeah, and that's okay. We, we get, get better, better at what we do at school and at play. So we practice. Yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Yeah, we practice. Oh, yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. In order to get better, you really gotta do it. Mistakes are a path on the road to improvement. Challenges make you better. It depends on how you view it. Relax and don't worry. We're gonna help you through it. Training is important, you should do it a lot. Do one step at a time until you learn how to walk. Everybody makes mistakes, but that's not where it ends. If you fail and don't succeed, try, try again. Why do we practice? So we can learn the week. How often do we practice? We practice every day. We make mistakes when we practice. Yeah, and that's okay. We get better at what we do at school and at play. So we practice. Yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Yeah, we practice. Oh, yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Why do we practice? So we can learn the way. How often do we practice? We practice every day. We make mistakes when we practice. Yeah, and that's okay. We, we get, get better, better at what we do at school and at play. So we practice. Yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Yeah, we practice. Oh, yeah, we practice. Keep doing it again until we got this. Yeah, that was Why Do We Practice. Good morning, Joe. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me for the morning announcements. That was my track, Why Do We Practice, featuring Black Root. I'm trying to make sure I get into a good habit of practicing all the things that I'm trying to do to get better at. One of them is this show, The Morning Announcements. I feel like it has improved exponentially since we started it in August. Thank you, everyone, for your support. I really do appreciate that. One of the things I'm trying to get into better practice of is recognizing Independence Days for Pan-African countries. And today, we are going to do the third installment of recognizing Independence Day. Today, we are going to recognize the Independence Day of Sudan. All right. Huh. So today, January 1st, is the Sudanese uh, um, Independence Day. It is celebrated annually to commemorate the independence from the nation of Britain. All right. Now, let's begin with a rendition of the Sudanese National Anthem by Elsie Honey. Let's see. Here we go.
right, friends, that was the Sudanese National Anthem by Elsie Honey. You know I love using her music um, to explain the National Anthem. She has them all on her YouTube page. Look her up, Sister Elsie Honey. Um, it's amazing. I'm glad she is a resource. Let me read for you the lyrics to the to the Sudanese National Anthem. I don't speak Arabic, and so I didn't understand it when I've heard um, some of the videos on YouTube, but I want to read this for you. This was written by Ahmad Muhammad Salih and composed by Ahmad Merjan. We are God's soldiers, soldiers of homeland. If called for redemption, we do not betray. We challenge death upon ordeals. We buy glory at the most expensive price. This land is ours. May our Sudan live an edifice among the nations. O sons of the Sudan, this is our symbol. Carries the burden and protecting your land. All right. The motto of Sudan is victory is ours. All right. Now, a little information by, about Sudan as we're showing some beautiful pictures and videos of the people and the places in Sudan. Sudan is the third largest nation in the African continent. The nation is rich in natural resources, arable land, a young workforce and agriculture. Until 1956, the nation was under the rule of the British and Egypt. Sudan formally attained its independence from Britain and Egypt on January 1st, 1956. Officially, the Republic of, of the Sudan is a country in Northeast Africa. It shares borders with the Central African Republic to the Southwest, Chad to the East, Egypt to the North, Eritrea to the Northeast, Ethiopia to the South, Libya to the Northwest, South Sudan to the South, and the Red Sea. It has a population of 45.70 million people as of 2022 and occupies one, one, ooh, let me say this in miles, 728,215 square miles. That's 1,886,068 square kilometers, making it Africa's third largest country by area and third largest by area in the Arab League. It was the largest country by area in Africa and the Arab League until the secession of South Sudan in 2011. Just to be clear, Sudan is different than the new country of South Sudan. All right. Let's see. Its capital is Khartoum and its most populated city is Omdurman. Let me say that again. Omdurman, part of the metropolitan area of Khartoum. I love how much I learn every morning by researching this stuff. All right. So what should you know? The national regional currency of, is the Sudanese pound. Um, the official languages are Arabic and English, but they also speak uh, 114 different native tongues. Um, let's see what else you need to know. Uh, Sudan has a 530 mile coastline bordering the Red Sea. Uh, the White Nile and the Blue Nile are two tributaries of the, are two tributaries of the Nile. These two tributaries merge at Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, becoming the Nile River River proper before flowing into Egypt. Its other major tributaries are the Bar El Ghazal, Sobat, and Atbari rivers. The countries bordering the Sudan, okay, I've already gone over that. And also you should know, Sudan is divided into 18 states. Friends, happy Independence Day to the people of Sudan. Uh, their Independence Day is January 1st. We are support. Um, we are going to keep this moving. All right, friends. So um, now I want to make sure y'all know about the next big show I got coming up. Oh, matter of fact, no, before I got to do that, I got to do another commercial break. Make sure you know how you can support this program. All right. One of the things you know, I'm the watermelon man. You see the huge watermelon carved into a sphinx behind me. Um, you can support the watermelon man and watermelon day at Sankofa by buying the watermelon flag apparel at not We've got the RBG flag shirts. We got the Maryland flag shirts. We've got the DC um, watermelon shirts. Make sure you go and check that out. The other thing, if you're a supporter of this program, we have the morning announcements merch. All right. We've got the mugs. We got the t-shirt. They come in red, black, and green. They also come in black and white. Every morning, we honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. I got mine right here. Uh, the green screen is knocking out the bottom part, but you see it. Um, so I definitely would love for you to plant a seed in this program. I do this every morning. I uh, then post clips of it on all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, 
YouTube, any way that you can catch up with me. Uh, I am trying to spread some RBG energy to you every morning so you can start your day. Thank you very much for that. My next big show is me doing the Frederick Douglass Writing Club, Writing for Freedom since 1838. It's going to be on February 5th, 2023 from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Prince George's County's Public Playhouse. For more information, go to notarapper.com or babagatbars.com. This is a special interactive writing show. Bring your third graders and up. You can bring the entire family, but third graders and higher will really, really enjoy this program. So bring the entire family. You're going to get a writing journal. As a matter of fact, yep, I got to make sure I got everything ready to go for y'all. I'm really excited about this. All right. So friends, the first thing I'm going to do to start my show at the Frederick Douglass Writing Club is to play the Black National national anthem. I have been practicing it every morning for a couple months now here on the morning announcements. As you saw earlier, I completely believe in practice. I think I'm getting better at this. I am about to play for you the Black National Anthem. Here we go. Friends, that was the Black National Anthem by James Weldon Johnson and Jay Rosamond Johnson. Thank you all very much for supporting the morning announcements. I, once again, this happens Monday through Thursday here on my Facebook page and my YouTube page. Um, thank you very much to Story Tapestries. Thank you very much for Bloom Bars. Thank you, Bloom Bars, for hosting me this past weekend. We had an amazing show. Thank you to all my new friends who I met at the Kwanzaa Children's Party um, on Saturday. That was another amazing event. Um, I'm really excited about this. I will be back tomorrow to be doing the morning announcements again, and we're bringing back tonight's book that will be sponsored by Africa Access. Um, there are three things I want you to do today. That is honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. All right, y'all, when I count to three, I need everyone to say peace, throw up the deuces, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Here we go. One, two, three. Peace.